know, people cutting firewood up, hauling it to a campsite or hauling it to a cabin on an acreage. Uh, really, those are the ways they're finding that this insect is moving itself. It's, it's not a great flyer, and so most of the time the way it gets to new areas is, is it's clinging onto wood or, or uh, different mechanisms to be able to move itself, and so people are really moving this insect. Okay. And so what are some of the signs? You mentioned probably about a half a dozen different signs of this, this little yeah, bug. Yeah, the different signs that we look for in emerald ash borer is a dying canopy or canopy dieback. We also look for empigormic shoots, which are basically suckering branches from the base of the tree. Uh, we also look for uh, spark splitting, and we also look for uh, increased activity in woodpeckers uh, up in the tree uh, causing damage. And really, this all relates to ash trees, so green ash, white ash, and black ash, which are all, all found in the Aberdeen area. Okay. And I think you mentioned also it's not necessarily the adults that decimate the population. It's when the larva is kind of burrowing through the yeah. tree. The damage really occurs from the larva stage. They're actually eating their way, uh, creating these S-shaped tunnels right underneath the bark, disrupting the food and, and uh, water flow up and down the tree. And so basically when the larva stage is feeding throughout the winter, it's, it's causing enough damage where it can slowly create that canopy dieback and, and the death in the tree.